Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to create a rank variable in Microsoft Access, similar to what you would with a regular SQL database. Now, unfortunately, Microsoft Access doesn't have a rank function, but that's okay. We're going to make our own. So you can see here I have dates of birth and I've created a ranking for it. And I did this all in a query. And let me show you how I did it. Before I get started on the main part, I'm just going to show you a cheap and easy way to do this if you only have to do it once. It's not what I recommend, but it is a way to do it. Get your table. Grab the variables that you want, especially the one that you want to rank, and we're going to put this in ascending order. So the early ones come first, and what you want to do is create a table query. We're going to call this rank table. Okay, we're going to hit OK. We're going to run it. Hit yes if asked. Now you can look at it. You can see these are in order. Now what you want to do is go to design view. We're going to create a rank variable. We're going to make it an auto number. We're going to hit save. And now when you open this, bam, that corresponds to this right here. This isn't what I recommend, but it is a way to do it. Like I said, if you only got to do it once. Okay, now this is the intended way. Okay, so the first thing that you need is you need a table, and in your table, you need to have data that you want to rank. So we have uh, date of birth here, for example. Um, we got this right here. Maybe if I had something like test scores or something like that too, you could use that as well. Okay, when you're ready to enter the query, go to create, query design, and you can add the table if you want. In this case, it's our employees table. We're gonna get a good look at everything, make sure we got what we need. So right click, SQL view, and this is where we're gonna enter the SQL code. So let's go ahead and get started here. This is going to be pretty quick. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to reference our regular table and we're going to call that E1. So you can see the E1 DOB right there. And in parentheses, what we're doing is we're creating a subquery. We're going to kind of trick this into ranking, as you can see there. So see where I put the date of birth, the DOB, with the less than and equal to part. Now, Let's just run this and see what happens. Okay, you can see that it worked there, which is great. All right, so now that it all worked out here, let's go back. And let's say we wanted to switch it up. So the newer dates are ranked first. We would just change that to greater than instead of less than. And so you can see there, 1940 is last before it was first. So if you want to go back and add more fields, that's totally fine. Go back to design view here and I'm going to add four or so fields. I'm going to add like first name, last name, uh, you know, some of these other things. I find it easier just to do it this way. Go ahead and view or run. It does it the same way. And either way, you can see that I got, the, you know, I got four new fields here. I just found it easier to do it that way than in the SQL code, but you can do it that way if you want to. It's totally fine. So there might be a few cases where you might have a tie in a value. So you can see here and here, I made these the same just for demonstration purposes and here and here. So now when I run this, we're going to get this. So you can see these are both ranked as three and there's no number two. And that's same for seven right here. Now you might be fine with that, but if you aren't, there is something that you can do. You can make this tie distinguished by another value. So I'm going to look at whatever has the lower ID right here and whatever is lower is going to get the lower rank. That's how I'm going to do it. So here's what you do. Okay, this time I'm making uh, quite a few changes. I'm going to make a new subquery and I'm going to add an identifier so I can link back to, uh, you know, who's rank two and who's three and so on. So that's what that employee ID is in there for. Uh, and then you can kind of see the new uh, part where I'm starting the new subquery. So with that from and beginning of the parentheses right there. And um, you can see the where statement, I'm changing that a bit. This time I'm creating an or statement with that. And you can kind of see what I'm doing. Uh, basically, uh, if there's a tie, you know, use the one with the lower ID or the row ID, however you want to say that. Okay, we can wrap things up by naming our subquery sub. Uh, and then at the end, we're going to order this by the rank, which is in that sub sub query. And we can give it a go. Let's run it. Okay, this looks pretty good. 
everything seems to be in order. I think we reconciled the dates of birth. You can see the employee ID there, so we can link to it. We got also the rank, which is in order. So that looks pretty good. Now this last one, if you were a little confused, that's okay. Uh, just ask questions. It's one of those things though, when you just try it yourself, it's actually not as bad as it looks. But yeah, if you have questions, just ask in the comments. That's totally fine. Anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Please comment and like if you could. I really appreciate that. In the meantime, I'll catch you all later.